Hello, my name is Dante Rene, and welcome to the 10 Room Bizarro YouTube page where I talk about films that I believe need to be talked about more. Like tonight's film, this is 1978's The House of the Dead. I believe the alternate title was Alien Zone, and this is a Vinegar Syndrome release. Never heard of this film before until Vinegar Syndrome put it out. This is the back of the Blu-ray DVD. There's also a beautiful slipcover of that cover right there. Look at that beautiful artwork. I have a friend of mine that said, um, they saw the artwork to this, and they said, when you watch it, can I watch it with you? Just that artwork alone sold it to me. The House of the Dead. And this is directed by Sharon Miller, a female director who did a horror film. The reason why I mention that so is because I don't feel like that was a commonality. Uh, it's not a commonality today, but it definitely didn't seem like a commonality in 1978. This is The House of the Dead. Uh, she also directed a film called After School Specials. And we have uh, photography in this film by Ken Gibb, who did Drive-In Massacre. Uh, great, great film. So let's look at The House of the Dead. Never heard of this film before. Never came across it in rental stores. So I'm very excited to talk about it with you. Now, I have some notes above me here. So you might see my eyes divert. Um... This is an extremely thick, atmospheric horror anthology film. It's filled with shadows and lights in the dark, hallways and rainy nights and mystery and real character acting, almost theater-like character acting at times. This movie was absolutely shot beautifully. I mean, Ken Gibb here, well, did an amazing job. The music is orchestrated. It's creepy. It's suspense. Horror with 70s drama and weirdness and lightness, too. There's a wraparound story that reminded me of the unknown aspects of the film Messiah of Evil. The unknown surreal aspects of Messiah of Evil. It's such a wondrous Halloween-like world on film. Right here. A lonely night. A lonely taxi. A lonely apartment and secrets and mysteries with no clear answers. Just the unknown, just alone, just surreal. We look at the horror of the unknown in the House of the Dead. We look at the horror of loneliness and the attraction of both of those. So the horror of the unknown, the attraction of the unknown. The horror of loneliness and the attraction of loneliness. I love entering into these worlds. Stories develop in ways that reminded me a bit of Tales from the Hood at times. I love the aspect of the night and the night meeting coffins and corpses and the dead. The stories in this film... We, we look at uh, a teacher who hates children. The thick suspense of a lonely neighborhood. It's like one of the loneliest neighborhoods I've ever seen, but fall-like. It reminds me of Halloween outside. It's, it feels cold outside to me. Bizarre character of this teacher, of this woman, her acting. Very bizarre. Simple unknown terror being alone in the house. You know, the 70s was great for that, wasn't it? Creepy, eerie, and the unknown mysteries of horror again. Very, very dark. We enter into another story of a man and his film c camera. Clever usage in this story of characters looking into the camera. Torture, suffering, black humor, disturbing, engaging conversation, weird elements of telling the story in the way time is represented in the edit. And again, clever use of possible fourth wall type stuff with um, the aspect of looking into the camera and having that be a part of the story. 
a story straight out of a British horror film, so to speak. Um, like the Tales of Madness. Just kind of reminded me of that. You know, a mystery, uh, a detective, death, fame, ego, excellent acting, suspense. It's madcap a bit. Um, and it really is off-putting in the context of this film and when it happens in this film. It's very, very off-putting. You're not prepared for it. It has a mystery detective-like vibe with, again, excellent acting. We also have a story involving a businessman um, and his internal dialogue. You have no idea where this one is going at first. You think you do, but you don't. It's weird and bizarre. There's a department store. There's alcohol. There's elevators and claustrophobia and the homeless. A very weird story and really representing the weirdness of horror. And we have a wraparound, the wraparound story answers questions, and there's a twist, and there's atmosphere, and secrets are revealed and uncovered about our host, and the rainy night, and guilt, and lies. You know, you look at a lot of horror, you look at Tales from the Crypt, um, you look at Creep Show, and, 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 um, Tales from the Dark Side, uh, the movie and the television show, and you, you see a bit of that morality vibe. You know, the characters that do something wrong will get their horror in the end. This film has that type of morality vibe to it. But what makes House, The House of the Dead so interesting in that world is that it's very direct. It's very direct in its, um, I guess, morality vibe of the bad characters getting, you know, what they should be getting. It was more direct in, in dialogue and in conversation, especially with a twist uh, at the end of the film. So very, very interesting. Um, the House of the Dead is a very unique and... It's a very unique world in the horror anthology format. And I have to tell you, you, you know, you're thinking to yourself, okay, this is, you know, this is obviously a low-budget film. But, it, but the acting in here is superb. Everybody is acting. Everybody is, you know, the wonderful character actors. Everything. I mean, I mean, just really unbelievable. I mean, you're thinking, my gosh, for a film this unknown, how could there be acting this good? How could there be atmosphere this good? Um, this is a great movie for Halloween. It's a great movie. It gives you that type of vibe. Um, but it also gives you some surprises uh, within the genre of the weird, uh, mystery, uh, the unknown, uh, a bit of uh, disturbing and torture and, uh, and kind of a creature, supernatural, all those vibes in here. So you have a lot of different elements of horror being represented in different stories in this film. So a lot of diversity in horror. This is 1978's The House of the Dead, right here. You can see some screenshots. Little kid there. We do have kids in this film. And uh, you got it all here, folks. Thank you so much for watching the Ten Room Bizarro YouTube page where I talk about films that I believe need to be talked about more, like The House of the Dead. Please feel free to check out my own personal films at youtube.com slash poopy diarrhea. That's P-O-O-P-Y. Thank you so much and good night.